Welcome to my performance lecture, my happening, mini concert, a gathering, an event, a production of minimalistic devices, my activity, you can call it what you will, a sharing, an invocation of the past, you can remember it however you want. Welcome to a lovely abundance of specificity. Welcome to my loss, struggles, jubilations, epiphanies, and distractions of the dancing kind, personally grown from years of collecting and begin. Welcome to this space, this room, and that room. Your presence, my body. Your witnessing to that body. The body that doesn't lie. Or does it? Welcome to the truth, the part truth, and everything but the truth. You know, I'm remembering so many contexts of movement. Maybe they all blend together. Welcome to one big epic dance memory. That was then, and this is now. And now embedded with a disarray of fires made of liquid, pouring into one another. I can feel the slush of surplus information tilting me towards asking, what do I do with it? I mean, look at me. It's me, but not me. It's me, and so much more than me, thanks to you. I am your apparatus of capture. I have perceived, organised and distributed your information and perhaps some of your significance as I see fit. But what is in this slippery storage? Is the history swooned by the histrionics? Does it retain the mundanity? Does it clearly store the confusion or does it confuse the clarity? Was it your aura that impressed me. In any case, making a dance with you was always engaging. Such compositions of dexterity, scenes of hilarity, days of banality, and interpretations of unending delight. But how did you imprint yourself? Or rather, how did I imprint you? Terms and meanings seem to restrict and render you incorrectly, my dear. But no matter what, wherever you are, Whatever you are, I will always love you. From across the crowded world, you drew me in, schmoozing me towards yeah, another me, another way to be. Twisted. I felt your breath on my neck, yeah, it all and I was swayed. That's what they say. Whether it was done, I don't know. Dear European dance community, it's been a long time since we said goodbye on that cold autumn day. Some days you seem so very close, and each time you slip back into my existence, I ask, where does it start? Where does it stop, this dance between you and me? Do you remember when you took my hand and spun me around, and then with fast articulate hand movements and leg work, our bodies collided in a full adventurous partnering? Sliding on our sweat, the game seemed relentless until suddenly I was rejected, isolated, sitting on a razor edge of attraction and repulsion. The rock band played on, and after many thrown objects, we lay there huffing and puffing to the backdrop of a filmic myth. <sighs> what a lusty start to our dance, which shifted quickly to a professionalism and an ongoing service to your cause, your kingdom your body power. Such charismatic authority. Your disciples were extraordinary. They shared such virtuosic tricks. And this kind of dance has lost interest in my bones for now. But I remember one thing. Yes, I remember the smell was testosterone. <laughs> 
In any case, it was the last time. La ultima vez, as you would say. Arriba! Dear Shushu, Levja, you have deeply inquisitioned my bones. These bones so porous, they absorb your features and incorporate them into my conceptual apparatus to mingle with this physiology, the unidentifiable, then bleed out again into the hemisphere of a career. <laughs> sometimes in a fury of movement, sometimes in an abstract pedestrianism. Sometimes you created immobility. <laughs> you clever thing, you. The depths you reach fathom me without my knowledge. Perhaps it's in your genes, a genealogy ruled by your culture, your politic, your social celebrations and restraints. Don't smile too much, dear. It makes you seem weak. Dear Golden Ratio and Rosas, please keep on running and spiraling and leaping in the most finest silks and suits. Dear Flemish, Franco-Belgian dance communities, for years I sat on the Frenchy side, but my fascia wanted to meet La Flamande. A strong, physical dance interspersed with a brute theatre. The performers were raw. They were ugly, to be honest. And they were honest to be ugly. Dear Ethical, you said, Hey you, New Zealand lady, show me something interesting from your country. You also made me wear toilet paper stuck on my face and thighs, dance with my tongue sticking out, and pose as dictators in sexual positions. And I asked myself, how did I get here? Was it something I said? <laughs> Actually, it was something you said. And many times it was something you didn't say. The weight of what was not spoken of. Dear Hans, you said, just find what it is for yourself there. I said, what is it? I, I don't have enough information. Please help me. You said, no, no, it's there. I didn't realise that the answer was already happening. Uh, I didn't realise I was the answer. I was responsible for how this would go. It was liberating and frightening. It also broke down the ladder to reassemble the rungs on the one level. Checking back with the kinetic frame and constant flux, arriving at a 90 degree angle of limitation and shifting the consistency of textual dynamics towards the tactile reference of the surface to the proximal verticals. Tracing the body's sensual awareness with the earth as its energy and the horizon as its landscape as its attraction, the moment arrives to surrender to the twists and turns and into a languidity of generous thought to collide gently with the wall. Move back to the wall, be a tiger, be an angel, look at the wall, touch it. Dear Jerome, oh, so concept of absence is the key. Maybe choreography of Peter where there is not even a hint of a dance step. It really is a show that must go on. I mean, how much more can you extract from the act of removal? In any case, I hope that is not your last performance. Dear performance, please don't go. Don't disappear again and again. I mean, how can I keep you? How can I make you stay? You know, I can make a small museum for you. <laughs> I'm trying to find an arrangement with the deranged here. Or well, maybe I should just 
subconsciously select and deselect when it's useful. Dear all my choreographies and improvisations, I can feel your pull for me to love you unconditionally, yet you are filled with unfinished business. To whom it may concern, here lies the death of so many movements uncaptured. Here lies the works never finished, here <coughs> lies the works never started. Here lies the lies, here lies the death of choreography. Please tell me, where can I put this to? idea where the premise of instinct is really useful when you're drawing on your own personal kind of um, storage or because it's so subjective to many things but what I allowed myself to do and, and it's interesting I didn't really take time to reflect on the 10 years I had in Europe and so when it came to this project it was really like oh yeah I can do this now and without um, censoring anything I just allowed what was kind of um, organically coming forward, and it was interesting what was coming forward. So my process was listening to that, what stories, what memories came out, and often it wasn't anything to do with movement, it was more about the, the way in which people were kind of operating, or different modes, or just different kinds of contrasting experiences that, yeah, sort of struck me. So that was one thing, the premise of instinct. Um, but yeah, I think it was also really interesting process to look at what, I guess, what is happening concurrently with dance and its evolution, how people are approaching uh, processes with dance and, and opening up that field to so many other um, disciplines. And I think for me there was also this part of the methodology was to really approach what it meant to be in this zone of memory, talking, being. I had my Achilles broken at the time I did the original, so I, I didn't quite make it a dance, you know, the dance was this, but it was, yeah, it was a process that was about trying to incorporate it into almost like a little theatre play, really, yeah. Did that answer some? <laughs> so this was uh, about 10 years of experience? Yeah. That they could combine into quite, quite nicely into a very short period of time. Yeah, originally it was a 20, 25 minute um, lecture, so it got, a lot of things got taken out, which was quite hard to go, do, because a lot of things were referencing other things. That, there was a lot more related to that Franco-Belgian as well as the Flemish side and the different choreographers, and it really highlighted those um, experiences and the ways I was interpreting them and taking on board the information. But yeah, so it was a bit of a job <laughs> to edit it down, but yeah. Um, yeah, I really loved the, the image you gave of the liquid archive. Yeah. You know, the body is just kind of moving liquid archive. And at the same time, there's quite a strong sense of narrative in the piece, and a strong sense of you as a storyteller. Yeah. And I, I just, I wonder what that, maybe it's a sort of picking up on what Mark was saying, but what that process was of going from kind of opening up the liquid archive yeah. to actually constructing the material from that. Yeah, the liquor archive is interesting. It comes, um, Aaron Manning is this really lovely writer and talks about sort of mobile architecture and liquid and elasticity. And I think I, I was inspired a lot by that as an idea. And Carol um, at the time was helping me also with some references. And yeah, the, 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 the liquid thing became, it's also, it's, it, was, it was an interesting state to explore the information that it was all kind of crossing over into one another. To be honest, I don't really remember many actual dance movements from shows, but I remember lots of layers of stuff that went on, and definitely tensions or intentions, and, and, and obviously the things that were um, 
more strongly ethically kind of um, difficult for me came forward as well. So, yeah, again, again, it was really a, a natural kind of process for opening that up and allowing those things to to rear their ugly or pretty heads, <laughs> you know, as, as they do. So there, there was a liquid sensation to that process, um, which I feel is where I'm really at at the moment, is really listening to how things evolve when you've already done kind of quite a chunk of stuff, you know, you kind of feel like, oh, if I just stop and listen to it, it's actually going to um, feed me. And I think this is reaffirming also possibly a process for dancers engaging in choreographies and how they also can u be useful, that whole thing of, you know, the agency of the dancer, that, that usefulness they have as, as people. And what they've done already is, yeah, it's not just gone. We're always, at the end of a performance, it's always like, oh, it's finished, that's it, you know, gone. But actually it's not, it's, you know, it's not. So, liquid, everything. <laughs> Would you be keen to go through another 10 years experience like that? Oh, completely. Not, not in Europe, here, though. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I don't think I'll stop, to be honest. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I find your performance very moving. Are you familiar with the Lato Drone Can I Dance Soon? No. Lato Drone? Can I Dance No. They smash atoms. Oh, yeah, wow. They smash the accelerator, it's called. Oh, wow. So, anyway, you remind me of a, of a free super subatomic powder. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best, I'm going to write that down. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm a subatomic particle. Yeah. And that would be the particle. Because they, to me, they have a consciousness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're right. And, and they stay in their space. But then they project themselves out to the next dimension, and near that next dimension. Oh, wow. Awesome. So, oh, I'm loving this. This so is great. <laughs> your relationships that you have in there. You're bringing it out to the next. To the next level, yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, that, and that was filmed, um, the, most of that, uh, I was quite strict on what I took and, as far as the images, and I kept it to this one place that I was in, on the last, the last study I did when I was in Europe, and I just went, this is, I'm going to use this information and not be searching through all my archives for things. It was the last moment I was improvising, and, and um, I think that whole thing of the, this other dimension and the, the space I inhabited then and now, it's quite, it is quite an interesting channel for me, back to that. And it's, and it's also interesting, there was a piece I couldn't include which was a letter to um, Brice uh, Leroux who, who did a piece called Gravitations, which you would love because it was absolutely, it's all about circling and gravitational atomic kind of movements and it's kept going and even the audience at the end um, the lights went up and the dancers continued doing their thing, you know, in this beautiful lighting and the audience would just leave, like, and they just kept going. And I sat there for another 10 minutes watching it going, they're not, they're not going to stop. So <laughs> anyway, I, want, I couldn't include it because of the time, but it was a, a very impressive, um, impactful experience of this cosmic kind of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> That's all. Thank you very much.